As a nursery or childminding setting, you play an important role in feeding babies and in helping them to establish healthy eating habits from an early age. And due to the frequent contact you have with families, you're also really well placed to provide them with baby feeding information and signpost them for support. The World Health Organization recommends that babies are exclusively breastfed for the first six months of their life. After this time, it's recommended that they continue to be breastfed through to their second birthday and beyond, alongside the introduction of solid foods around the age of six months. We know that the longer babies receive breast milk, the longer the protection lasts and the greater the benefits for them. If babies are having infant formula milk, they should be offered first stage infant formula throughout the first year of their life. It doesn't matter which brand families choose as they're all very similar. Let's take a look at the five key steps your earlier setting can take to support families to give their child the best start in life. Number one, it's important for your setting to have a food policy which clearly outlines how you support baby feeding. It should include information on how you support and encourage breastfeeding, ensure the safe storage and warming of expressed breast milk such as clearly labelling and storing it in sealed containers in the fridge. It should also outline how you ensure the safe preparation of infant formula and how you support babies under one to enjoy a variety of solid foods. Your policy should also reflect that you don't display any information or use resources from infant feeding companies, such as leaflets, pens and vouchers. Number two, to help make families aware that you're a breastfeeding friendly setting, it's a good idea to display welcome to breastfeed here posters in your parents' areas. Let families know that you have or can organise a comfortable space for them to feed their baby. It's helpful to have information and resources available for mothers and families, such as the Better Health Start for Life Off to the Best Start breastfeeding booklet. UNICEF UK also have a range of breastfeeding information leaflets in a range of languages, such as Bengali, Ukrainian and Urdu, which you may find useful. Number three. Clearly communicate to families your procedures around the safe preparation of formula milk. As outlined in the EYFS, you must ensure that all staff are confident to prepare formula milk safely. Good hygiene is really essential when preparing formula milk as a baby's immune system isn't as strong nor as well developed as an adult's. So carefully following safe preparation guidance will help to reduce the chance of babies becoming unwell. It's helpful to have Better Health Start for Life's Guide to Bottle Feeding booklet available in your milk preparation areas as this provides a step-by-step -step guide around preparing a formula feed and how to sterilise feeding equipment. This is also a useful booklet to have available for families. Number four, it's important to carefully plan the foods you provide for babies aged 6 to 12 months in your setting and you should work closely with families to ensure the approach you take is consistent with what's happening at home. You can modify your regular nursery menu to make it suitable for children under one as this will help babies to become familiar with the types of foods they'll be encouraged to eat as toddlers. Food should always be safely prepared to help reduce children's risk of choking and we've created a handy YouTube video to provide you with more information and visuals on how to do this. And finally number five is around staff training. As you know, the EYFS sets a requirement for early years practitioners to engage in appropriate training and development to ensure that they're delivering the best possible outcomes for children. Specific training that covers infant feeding will help to ensure that your practitioners have the knowledge and confidence to support the babies in your setting. Training will also help your practitioners to effectively signpost families to local support services and evidence-based guidelines. Here at Early Start Nutrition, we've developed training to help you meet this requirement and our Food and Nutrition for Infants training covers evidence-based information on breastfeeding and offering expressed breast milk, the safe preparation of first infant formula and guidance on the introduction of solid foods. To find out more about our Food and Nutrition for Infants training, along with our other training and the support that we offer early years settings, please visit our website at earlystartgroup.com forward slash nutrition.